hey guys! Today's video is gonna be a food vlog. There's an ongoing trend of this brown sugar boba ice cream here in Vancouver. And we figured we wanted to pop by an Asian store today so we can search for different variations of this boba ice cream and compare them. Make sure to get your appetite ready because ours is. Let's go! <sighs> Hey, right, we're here. Masks on. Okay, we got one. So this one flavor, right? Is this the brown sugar? Yeah. So this is the brown sugar. I found three more. One, two, three. Ah, so you got, what is this? Oolong tea, boba ice cream. And you got, oh, I think this is another brown sugar. Is it the same brand? It's a different brand. Different brand. And you got boba milk tea ice cream bar. Yeah. And if you guys remember from the previous vlogs, we were looking for the white rabbit cake from the same store, but it's all sold out. And fortunately, today they have it. I know, I know, it's not boba, but we love white rabbit. <laughs> Hey guys. hey guys! We want to briefly interrupt this video to thank our video sponsor for today. Mott & Bow is a New York City based clothing brand which specializes in jeans but they also have t-shirts and accessories too. We all know that online shopping is a little difficult especially if you don't know if it's the right size. So one great feature that Mott & Bow has is their home try-on program where you can order two pairs of jeans with different sizes, try them on, and send back the other one that doesn't fit. We are actually wearing Mott & Bow right now. And honestly, these are one of the more comfortable pair of outfits that we've worn. We'll drop a link to their website in the description down below if you guys are interested. And once again, thank you Mott & Bow for sponsoring this video. Back to the boba ice creams! <sighs> I'm so ready for this. Let's go get the ice creams! Here we go! So we put them in a cooler so it doesn't melt right away. So, first one, we are gonna try out this brown sugar boba ice cream. So we bought a couple of brown sugars. Sorry, I don't think we can tell you guys what the brand is because we can't read it. <laughs> There's no English translation. There's no English translation. A Chino. A Chino. And it comes with one, two, Three, four boba ice creams. Go. Here's our first boba ice cream. So do you want to do the honors of the first one? Yes. <laughs> Why would you say no? <laughs> this is what it looks like. First bite. First bite. Mmm. The pearls mm. are chewy. Yeah, it takes a while before you can actually swallow it. How do you like the flavor? It's good. It tastes like milky and with a drizzle of brown sugar in it. I think this is the first time that we've tried this brand. We've tried boba ice cream before, but it was the other one. And I think 
Just the number of boba in it is perfect. It's not too much, it's not too little. It's a pretty good boba, especially on a hot day and you just want to drink a boba. Yeah. But you want an ice cream instead? I guess we could tell you guys more details once we compare it with the other ones, once we try them. So this is perfect. So what's your rating? From 1 to 10? Mm, I'll give it an 8. Mm, yeah. I think this, since this is the first one, I don't want to give it a full mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be an A7 for me. And just like that, it's gone. <laughs> one down. Next one. Next one. Let's see what's next. Ah, this one is another brown sugar boba ice cream. I think this one is the most popular among the four because it's always sold out everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get this one. Mm -hmm. I think all of them has four bars inside of it. Mm -hmm. Let's go one, two, three, and four. And just from the packaging, it seems to have the same amount of grams as the other one. So they ha all have 320 grams per popsicle. I want to tell you guys what the brand is, but I still can't read it. <laughs> it's something Korean. Is it Korean? Is that Korean? Uh, or Chinese? I, I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just undecided. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Oh, uh, it's melting. It's melting. It's a little bit melted, but it's still good, I think. Look at this side, it's full of brown sugar. There seems to be more brown sugar on this boba sugar ice cream. Then. I think we gotta do this one faster because it's already melting. Okay, who's going to take the first bite? I think it's my turn. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he's excited. Mm. I think I like this a tad bit more. Really? Yeah. It has... I would say the same amount of pearls, same amount of boba, but there's more brown sugar in it, so you can taste more flavor. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can taste the brown sugar more in it. Yeah. So the other one is a little bit more creamier since there's less brown sugar, mm -hmm. and this is more brown sugary. I would give it an 8. So a little bit higher than the other one. How about I'll you? I'll give it a 8.5. 8.5? I also noticed that the pearls is slightly smaller than the compared to the first one. Mmm. Yeah. The pearls are really soft on this one. Yeah. The first one is chewy. This one's soft. We've tried two ice creams now. Two full ice creams. I'm starting to get a little bit full. <laughs> we have two more to go. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Next one. This one seems to be the same brand. This is the same brand as the first one. It looks yeah. like a Chino. This one is flavored as boba milk tea ice cream bar. The other one is brown sugar. So it might be like an original milk tea mm -hmm. uh, instead of brown sugar. Same type of packaging as the first one. The packaging for this brand seems to be a little bit bigger than the second one. Opening the bar. Let's make sure I open it up this time so I don't squash it. Uh, it's a little bit melted now. <laughs> I, I thought the top is gone. <laughs> what happened to the bar? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Did someone ate it? <laughs> It's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn to bite first. Okay. Mmm. That's interesting. It's not a brown sugar milk tea. It tastes like a fragrant milk tea. Oh, like a fragrant ice cream. Mm-hmm. Can I try? Mmm. I think the boba is frozen. I'm trying to chew it, but it's like icy. Yeah, I could... It's almost seems like it's crunchy mm -hmm. in a way. We told you guys that it's slightly getting melted, but the inside is still thick. I don't know if I like it, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, because... It's more like a tea. Yeah, I would maybe 
drink it like this, <laughs> but pr <laughs> probably not an ice cream. <laughs> I like the brown sugar a little bit more. Yeah. What do you think? I don't like it too. How do you feel like about the boba? There's something different about the pearls. I feel like it's not round. It's more like a square type or a tube type. It's smaller than the other ones mm -hmm. and it's crunchier. It's crunchy and it's very fragrant. I'll give this one a seven. Mm, I'll give this one a six. I like the two brown sugars a little bit more. Mm -hmm. All right, on to our last one. This is the same brand as the first one and the third one. So it, it's a chino, uh, but it is flavored as oolong tea boba ice cream bar. So it seems like this brand made three different varieties of milk tea ice cream. There could be more, right? We only found three of them, but there could be more. Mm -hmm. Okay, opening the package. Same type of packaging. Four inside. I think, yeah, here you go. This is how it looks. Opening up the package. It looks like the same texture and crop top <laughs> as the last one. <laughs> Square type yeah. popsicle. And it's interesting, look at this. There's a white part at the top and there's a brown part at the bottom. It looks like the one in the picture. Yeah, I guess it's because it's oolong. There's, you know how oolong milk teas have like a froth at the top? Oh. Maybe it's like that. I like this one a little bit better than that last one. Mm. And, and also I made sure to bite from the white part and the brown part. And I, it seems like the, the boba is only on the white part. Yeah, so make sure you bite in between. Mm. It's good, right? Like it's not brown sugar good, but it's still better than the last one. Mm -hmm. But I still don't like the pearls in it. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the same crunchy pearls, right? It's the crunchy pearls. The white top is more like a mousse on a milk tea. Mm. The froth on top of a milk tea. Yeah, so it turns out that there's more boba inside. It's not only on the white part. There's also in the brown part. You eat all the top part. <laughs> It's not that sweet. Brown sugars could be a little bit sweet sometimes, mm -hmm. but this one, oolong, is, is just perfect, I think. I would eat this again. If they had like better pearls, like mm -hmm. the ones from the brown sugar, yeah, yeah it would be, be perfect. Mm -hmm. So I would give this a seven, same as the, the first brown sugar. Yeah, I'll give it a seven too. Yeah. To us, the clear winner from the four is the more popular brown sugar boba ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's probably why it's always sold out from the stores, right? No wonder. It's a clear winner. I feel like I just needed to lay down for a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this comparison between the four boba ice creams. And if you guys are new here, we'd love to keep you around. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video. And if you have any suggestions for the upcoming vlogs, let us know in the comment section down below. Until then, see you in the next vlog. And thanks for watching. Bye! Me <laughs> too. I think we gotta loosen up some buttons here. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> there was a bug. One great feature that Mott and Bo has is their home. <laughs> One great feature that Mott and Bo has is their home try-on feature. <laughs> Where you order two pairs of jeans with different size and just send them back. <laughs> huh? mm. Mm. It tastes like a boba ice cream. <laughs> of course, it's a boba ice cream. <laughs>